are going to wrestle for the world's heavyweight tag team championship. Right, Jerry? That's right. Against Rocco and Perez. Now, wait a minute, Jerry. Let Eddie have a few words. Eddie, does this uh, match phase you guys at all? Do you think uh, that you can handle Rocco and Perez? Well, at the risk of repeating myself, I'll say again, we've prepared for this thing for a long time. And like I said the other week, uh, uh, Puerto Rico and these places, they've never had the competition to produce world-beating athletes. They have never sent uh, uh, competitors to the Olympics, and uh, they don't have the competition to produce really tough wrestlers. If sure. we get finished with them, why, uh, they can put them in a cattle car and send them back to Mexico or someplace. That's what we think about them. When you get finished with them, you figure on having that belt. Is that right? That's right. We will be the international tag team champions as soon as that match comes off. And it's going to be the greatest match ever. Okay, Jerry. Wait a minute. Now, one oh, thing here I want to show you. Oh, yeah. Wait. These uh, headlines have already been printed up by the New York Times. And I wish they'd get a close-up on this. They are. They're already say. printed. And this is going to be the Sunday morning sports edition. This is in the Sunday paper. There it is, folks. So take a look at it. The barefooted baron of the bat world, Argentine Rocca, collaborates with his partner, Miguel Perez, against the formidable Graham brothers in a best out of three falls tag team tussle. Billed as the world's tag team champions, Rocca and Perez usually manage to turn the bout into a major war whenever they lock holes with the villainous Grahams. The enthusiastic crowd prepares itself for the long siege when these two teams tangle. Miguel Perez takes the initiative and proceeds to vent his wrath on Eddie Graham. Miguel gives Graham a free ride, but the road's a little bumpy. A rabid rooter offers some advice, but the Grahams would rather have a little help. Rocca is hitting on all cylinders now, and Graham's taking the brunt of it. Argentine is in a bad mood, and he's picking on everyone, including the referee. Rocca must have taken his nasty pills tonight. Eddie Graham warily watches Argentine as he slightly sticks his big toe into Graham's well-rounded middle. Dr. Graham has just the treatment for that tired, nagging backache. Eddie performs the surgery while Jerry looks on approvingly. The operation is over and the patient is fine. In fact, Rocca has recovered so completely that he and Perez show their appreciation with a few love taps. It's Rocca's turn to perform a little dental surgery on Graham. He neatly inserts his foot into Graham's gaping mouth. Argentine lifts the ponderous Graham on his shoulders, but the altitude is too high for Jerry. He calls it quits, and the Perez Rocca team has declared the winner of the first fall. The Grahams manage to win the second fall, and they're back at it once more in the third and deciding fall. The brothers are finally launched into space, and the thoughtless Argentine throws Graham out of the ring before he can even get into his space suit. Argentine has his foot back in action again. Yes, back in Dr. Jerry Graham's sweet countenance. The doctor can't seem to give the right prescription for this treatment. In fact, the good doctor might be wise to leave his ranting rival alone for the present until it's safe for further diagnosis, Graham style. The Graham brothers get the message loud and clear. Rock and Perez pound their heads like a couple of bongo players in a cha-cha band. The referee stops the slaughter just in time to prevent the Grahams from becoming human sacrifices. The Perez rocket team emerges triumphant over the despicable, abominable Graham brothers, but the villains still think they were wrong. 